If you want to build a custom roof structure and you want to use the uh, Unilock pillars as a uh, foundation for each of the posts, you can copy one of the pillars from the front and uh, paste it in, in the back. If you want to change the design, of course, then you're going to have to design another uh, column. So the easiest way to get your alignment is, is on uh, the plan view. And if we look very closely here, we've got one and we'll copy and paste and position each one of those. Each time we'll paste it and we'll position and paste again. And once we have our, our four posts into place, or columns rather, then we're ready to put um, the wooden column uh, posts in. And we do that when we go over to the column tool and we can select a, from any uh, number of uh, designs. We'll go with column number nine. And as you can see, it places right into the pillar. <coughs> Best way again to line it up is to plan view and you can line it up perfectly with each one and copy and paste. Again, one way you can do it is to combine the column with the, uh, with the Unilock column and then only copy and paste each one of those. That saves a little bit of time. And go back to perspective. We have our, uh, we have our structure in place. Now we just need a roof. In order to build the roof, we just use the house tool for that and we'll go back into plan view and we will select house and we'll start building here we can build it with uh, the snap tool on if we want the snap tool will allow us to keep things uh, accurate we can always move it uh, to unsnap afterwards. Okay, now we've got it set that way. We go back into perspective and everything's kind of disappeared. We just go to wall material, options, and just change your wall height to zero. And now you need to change your elevation and bring up your roof structure to the top of the pillars. <clears throat> if the overhang is too large, you can take that back a bit and of course you can realign as necessary. Uh, sometimes it's easier to align in, uh, in here with taking the snap tool off, going back to perspective, now I can make the finesse the adjustments for visual. And there we have our roof structure. Now, in order to avoid doing this with every one of your plans, <coughs> the best way to uh, keep this is to select all the units and then save them as a model. And I've done that uh, before, so if you go back into Landscape Accessories and we open up this and we go to Custom tab, you can see here one of the roof structures I saved. I've also saved one of my grill islands and a 10 by 10 carpet and a, uh, a linear uh, grill island.